Camera zoom is the new battleground in the smartphone world. We're seeing longer and longer zoom ranges, especially in Android phones. And there is good reason for it. It gives us more options. And also it's easily understandable. 100X is better than 90X, which is better than 80X and so on. That isn't the whole story though. And not all zooms are created equal. So let's go through it. Using optical zoom creates a perfect zoom with no loss of quality. If you have a 12 megapixel image sensor under there, you can take 12 megapixel images zoomed in compared to the wide angle lens. However, because smartphones are so small and the lens components are expensive, it's really difficult to get a long optical zoom on smartphones. With the usual type of lens design, you may be able to get three times optical zoom as compared to the wide angle camera. But things on from there get extremely difficult, which is why we have seen the advent of the periscope zoom camera. This rearranges the camera's lens into a periscope style. A periscope zoom camera unit is a small rectangular box and has a rectangular opening to let more light into the sensor. With this arrangement, you can achieve much bigger zoom ranges optically. To achieve more zoom than that, you need to use digital zoom. Digital zoom crops into the sensor, and so every time that you use digital zoom, you are actually losing quality of the image. Digital zoom allows us to get a longer zoom range, but the loss in quality means that it can only be used for a short distance. Once you start zooming in a lot, the image just falls apart and becomes unusable and terrible anyway. So what's this hybrid zoom that smartphone companies keep telling us about? There is no such thing as hybrid zoom. You either have optical zoom from the lens, which is pure, or digital zoom by cropping in on the sensor. Hybrid zoom is a shorthand way for companies to basically tell us that in their opinion, they believe that up to a certain amount, for example, 10x zoom, you can still get very good looking usable images, even though you're using digital zoom on top of an optical zoom lens. So the term hybrid zoom is a little bit misleading, but if you do see it, for example, 10 times hybrid zoom, it should mean that up to 10 times zoom, you're still getting an image that would be considered to be good looking and usable. Computational photography can help massively with image quality and zoom quality. And a lot of these hybrid zooms, which is digital zoom on top of optical zoom, use this technique. Apple call it deep fusion, but there's lots of other iterations out there. Google call it visual core and Huawei use it too. It uses both a special piece of hardware and software so that when you take one photo, it actually takes multiple images. It then puts all that information together and actually creates a sharper, higher resolution image from the camera that it was actually possible to take. So for example, with the iPhone's Deep Fusion, even though the phone has a 12 megapixel image sensor, you can actually get much clearer, sharper images from that phone than the 12 megapixel image sensor can actually put out. There's a lot going on with all this image processing, but fundamentally, you do get a sharper looking image than if you didn't use it. So why are higher megapixel image sensors becoming a trend in smartphones? In the smartphone world, there's two ways to do things. You can either chuck hardware at the problem, or you can try and solve the problem with software and processing. In the Android world, we're seeing 48 megapixel, 64 megapixel, and even 108 megapixel camera sensors enter into a lot of phones. The higher resolution image means that you can crop into the image more without losing detail and so you can achieve the feeling of a longer zoom range. So for example, you can take a 64 megapixel image and within the phone, crop into it and zoom into it without losing detail. Whereas if you had a 12 megapixel image sensor, cropping into it would just create a bad looking image. In fact, Samsung are using all of these techniques using a 5X periscope zoom camera unit, plus a high resolution 48 megapixel image sensor under that unit, and also computational photography to achieve the longest zoom range we've ever seen in a smartphone at 100 times. Yes, 100x zoom looks terrible and blurry, but it is the very first product to do this and it is only going to get better from here. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.